It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Tennessee Titans and the Cincinnati Bengals. And it comes your way next. On a picture-perfect Midwestern afternoon for football, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Today, we've got a fun little clash in the AFC as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. But, Charles, a lot of people see these Bengals as legitimate contenders to get to the Super Bowl. And remember, they got there just two years ago. What do they need to do to get back? Well, we know how well positioned they are our offense partner because they have one of the best quarterbacks in the game and a lot of firepower to go with it. But how about what they did in the draft this year? A lot of capital expended on the defensive side of the ball, trying to slow down some of the other top contenders. But meanwhile, the Titans last year, they were one of those strange statistical anomalies, CD. When you look at their defense, they were the best in football, number one overall against the run, but worst in the league, number 32 against the pass. And part of the reason they were number one against the run, the struggles they had slowing people down through the air. So people threw it and threw it and threw it and had great success. And a team that should have been in the playoffs last year somehow managed to miss it. We are set to go. Evan McPherson to do the honors, and we are underway from Cincinnati. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Well, the Titans ready to take over on offense for the first time, and it is the now 35-year-old Ryan Tannehill who leads him out in his 12th NFL campaign. Those who expected Ryan Tannehill to go quietly into the night after the Titans drafted Will Levis, well, they clearly don't know this man well at all. He's a fighter and former comeback player of the year and expects to have his best season yet as a pro in this campaign. The NFL's second leading rusher in 2022. Here's Derrick Henry. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. They certainly thought he had an open work beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Third play here, this opening drive, as they're up against a third and five. Tannehill now to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Tannehill on target to Burks. First down, Tennessee. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. First down carry for Henry, and he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. A gain of three, second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now. Titans in possession of the football as they've got it second and seven. To throw is Tannehill. That's complete downfield to Oconquo. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Now Tannehill. Going to the right here and finding Burks. 
That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Tannehill. He gets it to Burks again. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. From the third team now, they work on first and ten. From the gun, here's Tannehill. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Second and ten. Now it's Tannehill. The quick slant caught. Touchdown! It's trailing Burks from Ryan Tannehill. And the Titans have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bit just to get the football. Nick Folk for the point after. And this is good. Our score, 7-0 Tennessee. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was Traylon Burks capping things off with a touchdown catch. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And running with power here. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. And the Bengals now set for their first possession, and it's pro bowler Joe Burrow who leads this offense in his fourth season now out of LSU. Burrow may be young in his career, but he's helming the Bengals to one of the best stretches they've ever seen. 12 wins last year, which matched the team record, and they made a conference championship game in back-to-back -back seasons for the first time ever. At the center of it all is the man they call Joey B. 35 touchdown passes last year and almost 4,500 yards. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Roger McCreary there to bring him down defensively. So we reach halftime here with the visiting Titans taking the lead in the intermission. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This has been a hard-fought battle thus far. Just the one touchdown to this point is still anybody's game at 7 to nothing as both of these defenses have been out there trying to one-up one another. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. 
Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Smith catches left side. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Bengals. They've got the football, but they trail here as we get rolling in quarter number four. Now Burrow. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Burrow. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 29-yard line. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to him in open space and let them do what they do. This is first and ten. To throw Burrow. Throw out wide is incomplete. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Here comes second down. Burrow. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down couple extra defensive backs out there in the dive and because of that really not many places to throw the football if any and typically what would you want to do against that dime run the football you want to run the ball but you can't do it in this situation not nearly enough time on the clock you having to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third with that incompletion reality is staring them right in the face this entire game is down to the next snap No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And he's caught. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Here's first and goal. He 
here's Burrow. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Throwing Burrow. And he's got it. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. Obviously, the excitement level here is almost a fever pitch. Down one. It's tempted to go for two. <laughs> I say you go ahead and kick the extra point. You got the home crowd carried into overtime. I'm with you. I do see some fans, though, holding up two fingers. Easy now. Yeah, but they're not the ones who have to actually make that call, are they? And now the decision is to go for two. A gutsy call, and this, in effect, is your ball game right here. Throwing now is Joe Burrow, and it is caught. They got the two points, and with it, they've taken the lead. And boy, you want to talk about guts. Guts is going for two when you're down one in that spot right there. Do they not trust their kicker? Did they not feel that it was time to go ahead and do that? Or did they just say, we've got a play on that we're so confident in, we're going to go ahead and do it? I'm going to say they're going to say that in the press conference. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. One last throw here for Tannehill. Eluding the pressure right, and he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale 